In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the sort by function to do some extra fancy sorting in Excel. Let's get started. So here I have a list in Excel of some movies, and there's information about those movies here. It looks like the data isn't really sorted in any special way, really. But over here at the right, I would like to sort some of this data based on a couple of different factors. First, I want to try sorting it by the Rotten Tomatoes score of reviews. Then I'll try sorting it by the earnings of the movies. So let's figure out how we could do this. I'm going to start by clicking on cell G3 and I'll type equals sort by. And this is a dynamic array function in Microsoft Excel. It's fairly new. I'm going to put in the left parenthesis and you can see the arguments that Excel is looking for. It wants an array, a range of data. And in this case, I don't really want all of the data. I'm just going to click and drag to select the names of the movies and their content ratings. That's the information I'm interested in looking at, but I want to see this information sorted based on the Rotten Tomatoes score. Now that I have the range in my formula, I'm going to put comma, and now I need to decide what am I going to sort this data based on? Well, it's this, the Rotten Tomatoes scores. So I click and drag to select that range or array, and at this point, I can be done. I can just put in my right parenthesis and then tap enter and look what's happened. The movies have been reordered or sorted based on the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, the website. Now let's look at this. Which movie has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? It's actually the Ant-Man movie and that is at the top of the list. Which movie has the second lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? It looks like it's the Transformers Rise of the Beasts and that is the second movie listed here. So let's look at why it did that. Why did it rank these movies for from worst score to best score. To examine this, I could just click on the cell where I put this formula that has the dynamic array sort by. So I've selected it, and to examine and edit this better, I'm gonna look at the formula bar here. So sort by, it's got the range, it's got the data on which I want to sort the range. If I put a comma after that, notice that I get one more option. By default, the information I selected will be sorted in ascending order, so lowest score to highest score. If I want to change that, that, I can in the formula I'll just click here on descending and you can also just type minus one if you prefer and then tap enter and now I have the movie with the highest score here at the top and the movies with lower scores toward the bottom. Now one other thing you can try in your sort by formulas is after you've chosen the sort order ascending or descending if you want you can put another comma in and you can create a tiebreaker so there will be times when Excel looks at the data that you want to sort by and and there are two results with the same number. In that case, you can set up a tiebreaker, basically. So first I want to sort by score, but if there are ties, I could sort by box office earnings, etc. So if you want to play with that, you can. You can have multiple different sorts built in to the formula that you create. I'm going to leave it at just descending order. I'll tap enter, and there are the results. Okay, let's try it again, but over here at the right, and this time I'm going to sort the same data based on earnings earnings. So in cell J3, I'll type equals, sort by, left parenthesis. I'll select the range that I want to look at after it's sorted, comma. Next, I'm going to select the range by which I want to sort this data. So I want to sort this data based on the box office earnings. How much money did the movie make? So I'll click and drag to select that range, comma, and I'll put it in descending order. So minus one, right parenthesis, tap enter, and there we have the results the highest earning movies at the top, and the lowest earning movies toward the bottom. Now it's important to note that when you use the sort by function in Excel, it will look like the data that's produced is actually in the cells throughout this array or range. It looks like PG-13 is in cell H-17 and Fast X is in G-14. That's actually not really true. All of the information that you see here is actually being generated from this one cell. So look what happens if I try to delete the flash. I click on it, tap delete. We can't delete delete this value. Got it. If I tap backspace, it looks like it lets me delete it, but if I click away, it's back. And so it's important to know that when using sort by, it produces what's called spilled data that actually is coming from the cell in which you type the formula. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful and that you'll enjoy using sort by. If you did enjoy it, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. You could also click the thanks button below the video. You could 
support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie supporters. Thank you so much. Your support enables me to continue to make these videos in my spare time. Thank you.